Okay, my name is Muhammad Ikan bin Abdullah and now I will present topics in tax administration. Now we explain about tax exception system, obtaining appropriate knowledge. First point, the taxpayer must possess the necessary knowledge and skill to comply the tax law. Second point, to learn or obtain appropriate knowledge in order to understand tax rule and regulation. Next, tax audit and investigation. First point, to be a coming and a regular features under SAS as important would be placed on post assessment, audit and examination. Set point, the next point, best uh, being set up by the IRB to monitor the expansion of audit activities and to coordinate audit program, education and training exercise. Okay. The, the test audit and investigation can result in consider, considerable complex cost burden. Next, record keeping practice. Under Section 2 of the ITA 1967, to require a taxpayer to keep sufficient record for at least 7 years. Next, self-assessment procedure do not involve detailed uh, detail checking of tax returns. Okay. For the next, I will explain the return and assessment. There are few assessments that we will learn. First, Original assessment. Original assessment is made in accordance to the particular provided by the taxpayer or his agent in relevant return. However, the DG also exercises his direction in the following uh, in the following system. First, director general judgment. Next, second, non submission of return. Okay. For next assessment is reduced assessment where the the an appeal against as assessment or additional assessment uh, in the following system. First, reach an agreement with the DG during the review of assessment. Second, with the case proof appeal to the court decision. Okay. Uh, next, uh, assessment is additional assessment. Additional assessment is maybe raised by the DG in the following system. First, the taxpayer had omitted certain income by making it written. Second, when the tax have been refunded to the taxpayer by an error. For the lastly, where there is where there is additional income which has not been taken into account when making it, the, making it to the return. <coughs> Other than that, the type of the return and assessments. I for the uh, first of all, my name is Muhammad Fami bin Mufawzi. I'm in this group. So I will uh, proceed with the type of return and assessment. Okay, next is composite, composite assessment. Composite assessment makes default inflation a return in accordance with section 77 subsection 1 or 77A subsection 1. Fail to give notice of changeable in accordance with section 77 subsection 3. Okay. In this written assessment type, the composition, as, composition, composite assessment where a taxpayer makes default in furnishing the written assessment and the, the, the section. Okay, next, makes, in, makes an incorrect return by omitting or understanding my, I, any income. Next is give an incorrect information affecting his own chargeability. A composite assessment would be raised. Will be raised if the issue of a composite assessment is normally after the preliminary discussion or review with a taxpayer. The result is in an agreement of tax. Okay. Next, we go to increase assessment. It should when the taxpayer reaches an agreement with the DG, which is Director General, during the review of assessment. The court had decided the issue in dispute and result in an increase in the tax payable. In this assessment, uh, the issue of notice of increased assessment will be as soon as the parties has reached an agreement or ordered by the SP Com or the court. Okay, next we go to the advanced assessment. The director general 
is empowered to assess the taxpayer in advance by issuing advance assessment to prevent loss of revenue to the government. This is the the this is the what the director generals do. He should when taxpayer cease to carry on a business where the taxpayer is about to leave Malaysia and his source of income is likely to cease kiss the appeal leaving Malaysia. Okay, this is more to the director general's work lah. Okay, next we can go to the moon. Protective assessment. Protective assessment. The director general is authorized to issue additional assessment subject to a five-year limit. The limit time, five-year time limit, unless there is an element of negligence, willful default or fraud. If there is a fraud, then it make a problem to the director general to authorize the issue. Okay, next, a protective assessment will be issued if the taxpayer is likely to incur a tax liability in year assessment 2013, but implementation has not been complete. If not been complete, then it make the problem. Will be issued before 31 December each year. It means one year accounting period. So, okay, that's all about the return and assessment uh, point. Uh, type, type of return assessment. Thank you. Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Wan Muhammad Nazrin. So I will explain about penalty and offences. Uh, Taxpayers owe a duty and uh, responsibilities to pay income tax for each year assessment. In order to deter taxpayer from non-compliance and not paying their tax, uh, the court has uh, legislated special provision for the taxpayer who not pay their tax, which is they will be charged with fines, penalties, and imprisonment, or both. Uh, the DG and court will uh, legislated a uh, speci specific provision for each uh, type of offences based on ITA 1976 which is Income Tax Act 1967 So for the type of offences if the taxpayer fails to furnish an income tax return form they will be charged under provision Income Tax Act 1967 uh, 120 Subsection 1 Which is they will be fined Amounted 200 to 2000 ringgit Or imprisonment or both If they fail to give notice Or changeability to tax They will be charged under Section 112 Subsection 1 Which is same for the fine Amounted 200 to 2000 ringgit Or imprisonment or both. If the taxpayer make an incorrect tax return by omitting or understating any income, they will be charged under Section 130, Subsection 1, Paragraph A, which is they will be charged with 1,000 to 10,000 and 200 of tax under charge. If the taxpayer give any incorrect information in matters affecting the tax liability, of a taxpayer or any other person, they will be charged under Section 113, Subsection 1, Paragraph B, which is they will get fine amounted same with the case before, which is 1,000 to 10,000 and 200 of tax under charge. And for taxpayer, taxpayer who will fully and with intent to evade or assist any other person to evade tax. They will be charged under Section 140, Subsection 1 and will be fined uh, from 1,000 to 20,000 ringgit or imprisonment or both and they will be charged with 300% of tax under charge. And Assalamualaikum, I am uh, Muhammad Dini Ben Razam. I will continue what uh, Mohd Adrian has been talking about. So, uh, the first one is uh, assist or advise others to under declare their income. This under provision 114 uh, 1A. The offense is uh, 2000 to 20,000 or imprisonment or both. 
Okay, next one is uh, attempt to leave the country without payment of tax. This under uh, provision 115.1. One. Uh, the offense is 200 to, to 2000 or in prison or both. The next one is obstruct any authorized officer of IRBM in carrying out his duties. This is under provision 116. And the offense is uh, 1,000 to 10,000 or imprisonment or both. Next is fail to comply with an order to keep proper records and documentation. This is under provision 119A. The offense is 300 to 10,000 or imprisonment or both. Okay, next is fail to comply with a notice asking for certain information as required by IRPM. This is under provision uh, 121 and the offence is 200 to 2000 or imprisonment or both. Okay, the last one is uh, fail to give notice on changes of address within 3 months. So the uh, this is under provision 121 and also the offense is 200 to 2000 or imprisonment or both. Uh, there is two type of offenses which is uh, if the taxpayer pay install, pay installment after 30 days of uh, the debt set this under provision uh, 1078 what uh, 3 and the penalties is 10% uh, on installment date. The next uh, type of offences is uh, actual tax 30% higher than the the receipt uh, the receipt estimate of the tax. This is under provision uh, 10784 and the penalties is 10% uh, of the difference in the actual tax. Balance estimated tax made. Okay. Hi, my name is Ahmad Shami Fitri bin Saad. So today I'm going to present about tax appeal. So what is tax appeal? Tax appeal. Tax appeal is uh, tax appeal happen when the taxpayer are not satisfied with the with the penalty charge on him. So how to file an appeal? Taxpayer have to write the appeal to the IRBM branch that which issue the assessment. So, what is the required documentation? What is the required documentation on that appeal? Taxpayer must write a letter that state the type of mistake and clearly specify whether the mistake is either expenses claim, deduction, assumption and other thing that make them feel unsatisfied with the penalty charge okay lastly is appeal settlement so an appeal may be settled by either an agreement between the taxpayer and the rbm or by addition of a special commissioner of income tax or high court or court of appeal basically <coughs> When the first time they appeal an income tax, the, 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 the appeal settlement will be settled by the agreement between the taxpayer and the IRBM. But if they still feel, if they still unsatisfied with the decision, they may f they can uh, uh, send an appeal to the special commission commissioner of income tax. And this, if they still unsatisfied with the decision, they can send an appeal to the High Court and the Court of Appeal. That's all. Hi, my name is Ahmad Palam bin Alias. Okay, back to Mr. Elena's case. In this case, is he failed to furnish for VE for each year assessment since he started working in 2005-2015. Second, Thus, he will charge penalty under section 112 subsection A1 which is the offence will not will not pay for 4 years 4 years which more than 2 years 
the penalty that he will charge is from 1000 and not more than 2000 or imprison imprisonment less than 6 months or both if Mr. L feel unsatisfied with the penalty charge he will file an appeal to the IRBM in conclusion from the assignment we know at what level of income that will charge for income tax we also add our knowledge by know the ways to register for our income tax we also get to know about the self-assessment system and the penalties that we will get if we fail to file our tax we also know how to appeal if we are dissatisfied with our penalty charge so guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share!